morning, my name's Brittany, and today we're gonna do the week eight day two out of the day by day devotionals. So starting out, we're gonna do our two minutes of silence and stillness before God. I will let you all do that. And then our scripture reading for today is Matthew 26, 26 through 28. While they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Our devotional thought, at this final meal with the disciples, Jesus broke bread as a symbol of how he was making himself bread, sacrificing his very life for love. Henry Newman summarizes the process of how we, too, can love and become bread for the world by expounding on the four things Jesus did when he broke the bread. The bread was taken, blessed, broken, and given. I must tell you that these four words have become the most important words of my life. The first step in the spiritual life is to acknowledge with our whole being that we already have been taken or chosen. When I write you that, I mean that we have been seen by God from all eternity and seen as unique, special, precious beings. Then as the beloved children of God, we are blessed. For me personally, prayer becomes more and more of a way to listen to the blessing. Broken. The way I am broken tells you something about me. The way you are broken tells me something about you. Our brokenness is as unique as our chosenness and our blessedness. We are chosen, blessed, and broken, so as to be given. In the giving, it becomes clear that we are chosen, blessed, and broken, not simply for our own stakes, but so that we all live, finds its final significance in its being lived for others. Jesus took, blessed, broke, and gave the bread of his life to the disciples and the world. In the same way, he invites us to become bread so we can love those around us. Our question to consider today is how do you respond to the truth that your life is taken, blessed, broken, and given? Which of these four words speak most to you today? So for me personally, I love the word broken because I feel like we all come broken to God and he accepts, he accepts us broken and then he still loves us and blesses us and he takes us in and gives us everything that we have. So it's very, um, it's just convicting to know that we are all broken, but God still loves us tremendously. And then our prayer for the day. Father, I don't mind being blessed, but it isn't always easy for me to allow myself to be taken, broken, and given. But I do want to grow in love, and I offer myself to you, that I may be given by you as a gift to others this day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And now we will conclude with two minutes of silence. 